Well, the holidays bring comfort and joy, but also a healthy gift box of holiday family dilemmas. Our etiquette expert, Diane Gottsman, is here to help us keep our manners in check. It's so good to see you. Merry Christmas. You look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Oh, this is the perfect time to have this conversation because, <laughs> yep, uh, we've got family members rolling in. There's bound to be some etiquette situations popping yes. up right yes. okay so these are questions mostly from viewers people we know and we're going to ask you you give us the answers and we'll see if we're doing the right thing uh, what excuse can I give if I am given a gift and I don't have one to give in return it's so easy just no excuse when they when they hand you the gift rather than trying to make an excuse oh I left it on the kitchen table it's in my trunk just say Shelly thank you so much thank you and then in your head tell yourself all right, I have to remember, maybe after the 1st of January, I will drop them off a New Year's gift, or I might take them to lunch. So the gift does not have to be comparable. In other words, okay. the gesture that you give doesn't have to be comparable to the gift. Right. I can take you to lunch, and you gave yes. me a candle. So Okay, because we're giving gifts not to get one back in return, it's, right? It's the, it's the feeling that the giver gets mm -hmm. when they give the gift. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about holiday office parties. Those are still going on. Am I obligated to attend the office party yes <laughs> and, and you know we are coming to an end except this is just in general across the board an office party is mandatory fun okay. and it's an opportunity to build relationships okay um, if I'm going to a party is it okay for me to ask if I can bring someone if I was the only one invited okay I love this because I, the, the protocol is you don't ask to bring a plus one okay but this is the holiday season and if somebody wants to bring a plus one because that person doesn't have any place else to go mm. Got it. I feel like we need to be a cheerful host and say, by all means, bring a friend if they don't have a place to share, to, to celebrate their sure. family or with friends. Okay, so yes, go ahead and just give them a warning that you're bringing someone, right? <laughs> um, my girlfriend's two adult kids will be home for Christmas, and I'm not sure if I should buy them a gift. I don't want to appear if I'm schmoozing, uh, but should I bring one? Yes or no? I think you should. Okay. If you're going to your, this is, this evidently is a love connection. They are meeting the two adult kids. Okay. It's a celebration. Even if it weren't, even if it were just friends, and you go to someone's home and they're going to exchange gifts, just something small. It could be a little box of candy. It could be a, a, a magnet, something, yes. just so you're not sitting there awkwardly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel like just bring one. Just something. Just yes. something. A little Bottle something. wine, you know, if, In, if they're of age. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. of course. Okay. What about gift cards? I get questions about gift cards all the time. I love gift cards, but a lot of people think that they're impersonal. So what's the truth? They are not impersonal. Okay. Gift cards are great, but they have to be focused on the person. So don't give a gift card of a sports store to somebody that isn't sportsy. So make it write a little note, put it in a bag, make sure you're taking that extra step, and make sure they can buy a multitude of things at that one store. Okay. What about regifting? Yay or nay? Oh, it's dicey. I say no unless it's in a it's in perfect condition and I would say Shelly I have two of these I want to give you one of these coffee makers I got it as a gift I, I would you like it and you'd say yes I'm not gonna wrap it up and give it to you as if it's my own gift ah. And by the way don't re-gift or share in the same circle of friends because you're gonna hurt somebody's feelings okay okay there you go um, what about when it comes to gift giving what are some things that you should never give well you want to know the person. And so what you would never give, one thing which is a never is a pet. Okay. Never give somebody else a Makes pet. Makes sense. Yes. yes. But uh, generally you wouldn't give somebody anything that has to do with scales or diets or... Right. But some people would like a gym membership or a gift certificate to a okay. yoga studio. Mm -hmm. so, so know the person, but you don't want to give anything that's an add-on, meaning, okay, somebody gave me a candle, but it wasn't enough, so they added a, a mini hand cream. I'm giving you the hand cream. A lot of little things. Break apart <laughs> these gift sets and, yeah. and giving them out individually. It just feels thoughtless. Okay. So the gift should be for that person person specifically and you know what the person likes and doesn't like okay well there you go hopefully we're all set and we, what if we get into an argument at the holiday table how do we stop that oh the host should just <laughs> say okay guys we're here to have a wonderful yes. time so Fresh let's it off. let's change the subject yeah cheers there you go well thank you so much Merry Christmas Merry always Christmas. good to see you if you've got questions you can find Diane Gottsman at the protocol school of Texas protocol school of Texas.com and be sure you're following Diane on Instagram for more great information at Diane Gottsman.